Hey, it's Carrie here. And in this video, I wanted to take you through a little bit about some rules for using essential oils with kids because we are adults and kids are not like us. They're small humans and they need to be treated as such. And we have to be careful because essential oils, doTERRA essential oils are certified pure therapeutic grade, strong, powerful, and potent essential oils. So it's important to know that oils do not replace standard medical care. I'm gonna repeat that again. Essential oils do not replace standard medical care. They complement it, they work with it. They are the perfect addition to empower your health at home. And a child is a small adult, so with children, less is more. You don't need to put it on straight. Oils must be diluted with kids when you are going to apply them topically. Children only need one to two drops. It's plenty. The stuff is powerful. It's pure. That's all you need. And like I said, the coconut oil is a great way to dilute the oils so that you can use them on their little chests or on their feet or along their spines when you're applying it for effect on your children. The fractionated coconut oil, again, is oil. It's coconut oil with the fat taken out, the fat molecules taken out, so you can use it to dilute, but it's not greasy and it's amazing on your skin. It feels great. And, um, and you can get back to your computer, it's not going to stain your, your sheets or your towels or any of your clothes, which is perfect. Um, a great place to put oils on kids is the bottom of the feet because it's a less sensitive area. So if you do find that they do have a sensitive reaction, it's not going to be as strong if it's on their feet. The pores are big and it's also um, absorbed really quickly through, through the feet. So it's a perfect place to put it for kids. You also, like I said, can put it directly on the chest or on the spine, but the feet is a really great place to get started when you're using oils for kids. And how often can you use oils with kids. Now, or kids will metabolize oils sort of every two to three hours. So you can be re reapplying these oils every two to three hours on your child. So you can be putting it in the diffuser. You can be putting it uh, on their feet, you can be putting it on their chest, having them take a deep inhalation every two, two hours to support their little bodies and allow those oils to work at that cellular level so they can metabolize those oils and have them do the job that they're supposed to do in their body and again keep in mind that essential oils only work as much as you do if you are skipping not taking the lids off the oils not using them consistently you're not going to feel the effect that you would otherwise if you took on the essential oils lifestyle and use them whenever they're warranted the other thing about oils is that different combinations work well for different people you are not um, going to find that exactly what worked for her is going to work for you and that's why once you get started you can kind of feel what's working and what's not and there is no exact method that's going to work for you it's just it's about trying and trying something different and tweaking it a little bit and finding out what works best for you and your child and then you're going to feel that massive power of being able to take care of yourself and your family at home with essential oils and I am more than happy to help you get started so if you haven't already please get in touch with me let's get you set up let's get these oils in your home let's get you learning using and feeling that power of, of an essential oils lifestyle let's get you empowering your health and taking care of your health at home improving your sleep and boosting your immunity, supporting your respiratory function, decreasing the toxic load on your life. All that's left for you to do is keep moving and eat some really good nutritious food. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really enjoyed doing this series and I'd love to hear from you. Take care.